Hello viewers, in the previous video, we learned how to read CSV, XLSX and XLS files in R. Today, we will learn how to construct a frequency distribution table in R. And for the construction of the frequency distribution table, we will use the high weight CSV file. We read it in the previous video. If you missed the video, then you can watch the video. The video link has been given in the description. So first, we will load the data in R. running the code the data is open we have to select the data since we are going to reading it now the data is loaded to view the data we run the code yeah the data is visible now the data showing three variables and hundred observations now we are interested in constructing the frequency distribution table of the height variable. So we have to calculate the minimum, maximum and the range of this variable. So we have to calculate minimum height my data height variable. Run this. We found the minimum height is 54. Now the maximum height x2. Run this. I also find the maximum height is 80. Now we have to calculate the range R is the subtraction x2 minus x1 then run it we found the range of the height variable is 26 for frequency distribution table, we have to calculate the number of classes first. By ACA stars formula, we can calculate it easily. The formula is if we define the number of classes as k, then k 1 plus 3.322 log 10 base total number of observations since we have 100 number of observations so we write it 100 and run it then k run it we found the total number of classes here is shown 7.644 so we can take the number of classes as 7 now we need to calculate the class intervals or class limits we can calculate it by the following process if we define class limits is i small i then the class limits is range divided by number of classes since we have taken the class number of classes 7 so we put here 7 then I run the code. We found the class limit is 3.7142286. Now, taking the class interval 3.7 and number of classes as 7, we can construct the frequency distribution table. Now, to construct the frequency distribution table, we have to load the library fdts 
since I have already installed it in my computer so I'm not gonna install it again but you can install it the following process Now we have to load the library to construct the frequency distribution table. So library FTTIs run the code. The library is loaded. Now we have to write the code to construct the table. We name the table as height FTT. So, height FTT, our data is my data, the variable we want to construct frequency distribution is height, now it starts the minimum height is 54 the maximum height is 80 and obviously the class interval is equal to 3.7 run the code the table is ready now we want to view the table summary height FTT run this yeah the table is now visible the table shows that class limits as the class limits the this is the frequency and then the relative frequency then relative percentage frequency cumulative frequency and the cumulative percentage frequency so that's all about today's video thanks for watching